Welcome to Wrap It Up with Radio Raheem. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. And for those who are new to this, Wrap It Up is a show where I talk about music topics from top 10 lists to album reviews to ranking albums, just a whole bunch of music topics. Today, we're ranking Kanye West's albums from 1 to 10 or whatever, how many he has. So enjoy. So we're back and now I'm going to rank his albums. Now, I'm not doing collaborative albums, so no Watch the Throne, no Kids See Goes. You know, this is just going to be just his solo albums, you know. I'm going to rank them, and let's get into it. At number nine, we have Ye. Now, I wasn't a fan of Ye. I think Ye was an ass album. Like, there's no other way to put it. It was just ass. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know too many people who do like it. And the people who do like it, you're just delusional. It wasn't a good album, you know. And I'm a fan of his music. It, it just wasn't it, you know. He could have kept that one, you know. At number eight, we have Jesus is King. Now, this album, I my issue with this album was it was trying to do too much. Like, it was trying to be, I get it was a gospel album. But it wasn't in a really traditional sense. It was just a gospel album that talked about... A rap album that talked about God. You know, it wasn't a gospel album. And I was expecting a gospel album. You know, I was expecting like a Mary Mary type album. Kurt Franklin type album. And that's not what we got. You know, we just got Kanye West and a couple features talking about God and not cussing. And that that's not a gospel album. So, at number eight, we got Jesus is King. Seven, we got Yeezus. Now, Yeezus is an album that kind of grew on me, you know. I hated it at first. I was like, what is this? You know, he sounds super angry. This ain't the Kanye that I want with the soul samples and all that stuff. But it, it kind of, you know, granted, I was in a dark place at the point in my life, too. So it grew on me a little bit, but it's still number seven on the list of Kanye albums because it doesn't have like a replayability to me. Like there's only there's like New Slaves and Bound, I think are the only two songs on it that I will play again. Like so, six. Mm, we gotta go with Life of Pablo. Life of Pablo, um, not a bad album. It's not a bad album, you know. Kanye just has some great ass albums. Which is, like, why he's so difficult as a person to like. But, um, Life of Pablo, the reason why I have Life of Pablo at six is because the amount of features is on there. Um, and it's really not better than the other albums. But, like, it's a solid album, you know. Um, no More Parties in L.A. 30 Hours is hard. Um, Wolves is hard. You know, it's a good album, you know. It's... Kanye's he done so good on his albums that we have like this super high expectation. So it didn't meet the expectation. Especially because some of the songs that we heard, like the song with Chance, like we heard like the original version into the version that was on the album. And it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like he edited the album so much. He's like a perfectionist, which I understand. At number five, we got Graduation. Graduation. Um... It's a it. He got classic. I think he got five classic albums, and I don't think too many artists can say they have five classic albums. Kanye has five classic albums. Graduation is a motherfucking classic. Sort of like classic in my books. Um, this one got Homecoming. This one just it, it's just fire. The beats are fire. The lyrics are fire. It's just the other albums that I got ahead of it are just better. But Graduation. Fire album. This is the Kanye that everybody loves. So, it's got to be my number five. So, Whew. now the top four is where we get a little tricky. You know, at number four, I'm going to go with 808 and Heartbreaks. Um, 808 and Heartbreaks is an album that, I'm not going to lie, I did not like it at first when it came out. You know, I was like, what is this? You know, this ain't rap, Kanye. I want rap, you know. But then, like, when I listen to it and I put it, like, say I'm listening to an R&B album, it's, it is flames, you know. Like, it's heartfelt, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
he was one of the few people that I say use auto tune like in a way that I actually enjoyed. So, 808 and Heartbreaks is a fucking classic. Um, like, I think you can play that straight through. Honestly, there's probably like RoboCop. I don't like that song, but you can play that straight through. It is fire. You know, Kanye was he was in his bag. He was definitely in his bag. You know what I'm saying? And the emotion and everything with that is why I have this one over Graduation. Now, as a rap album, Graduation is better. Like, there's songs on Graduation that I can listen to compared to uh, 808s and Heartbreaks. But 808s and Heartbreaks ranks higher because of what it did for music in general. You know, like, that album probably it inspired so many people. That album... Kind of a lot of people sound like that album today with all the singing type of rap. Like a lot of people sound like that. So that is why I put this one ahead because of the influence. And I it's just a dope album, you know. All right, number three. We got to go with My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Now I remember when this album came out because I played it every day. Every single day I played Power. I play so appalled, um, like monster when Nicki Minaj spazzed. That's how I found out who Nicki Minaj was. I wasn't like into like the her mix say "Beam Me Up, Scotty" and then like that. Um, like I heard her monster verse and I was like, "Who is this person?" You know all the shots she threw at Little Kim, but um, that album is dope as hell. You know a lot of features. Um, but, like, it was dope, you know. Kanye, this this was, like, when when Kanye was, like, really in his bag. When he wasn't so focused on fashion and all that stuff. So, I think he was a great album. I think he had some great features on there. Jay-Z, Pusha T. Um, who else is on there? Nicki Minaj. Rick Ross is on there. So, like, great features, you know, great beats. The beats on here are dope as hell. Like, RZA produced on there. All type of people. Like, dope album, you know. So, I have to go with number three, My Dark Twisted Fantasy. At number two, we got College Dropout. Um, his debut album, Jesus Walks on there, you know, Through the Wires on there. Great ass songs on there. But, it's just... I don't know, man. I, I mean, obviously, number one is late registration, but I'm going to talk about college dropout for a little bit. College dropout, though, when it dropped, I, I had to be in, like, middle school and stuff like that, and I've never heard an album like that that wasn't, like, from the 90s, you know? Like, Tribe is my favorite album because it's when I really started loving, 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 like, Low End Theory is when I really started loving music. I heard that later, but, like, uh... College dropout, hearing the samples, hearing, like, the hunger, you know, hearing him rap about stuff that everybody can relate to and stuff like that is why that is an important album. Like, I had to be, like, in eighth grade or ninth grade or seventh, around that time. I don't know. But it, I was definitely at least in middle school, and I remember the soul samples, which is why I am a huge fan of Kanye as a producer more than I am as a rapper. Like, his production on this album, top tier, you know what I'm saying? Like, top tier, you know. Two words with, like, most Def and Freeway. Like, like there's songs on here where, like, I'm like, I don't even need Kanye West. I just need a production, you know. But, like, it is amazing. His lyrical ability on there, you know. If people put this at one, I wouldn't, like... Be mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little biased on my on late registration being number one, but it's this is a dope album from top to bottom. Even with the skits. You couldn't even have the skips in there, you know. That's what makes it great. Like the skits go perfect with the album. Most people they just throw skits in there and they have like four or five skits and then they really have like seven songs. Kanye didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Storytelling was amazing on this album and all that, like this, like the what is the final track when he's like like when he's talking about how he got signed and all that stuff like that is dope you know what I'm saying his storytelling on this album was good this was a humble Kanye you know what I'm saying so 
I mean, no, he's never been humble. He's always been cocky if you listen to his lyrics. You know, he told us what he was going to do. But this was a great-ass album. Number one, I already said it, is Late Registration. Late Registration, to me, is a perfect album. All these, like, the top five of his, to me, they're all classics. But this is a perfect, perfect album. No skips, perfect features, you know what I'm saying? Perfect production. Um, and it was, like, his follow-up to College Dropout. So most people, they follow up don't be better. And his follow up was better. You know, he was in his back. Diamonds? Diamonds from Sierra Leone? How he is spitting on them? And the remix with Jay Z, but Jay Z just completely sunned him and was all like, I got it from here, Kanye. Thanks. Like, <laughs> thank you. I'm the man. But um, Late Registration is definitely a classic, perfect album. Like, there's not too many perfect albums that I can say, like, I can't find a bad thing about the album. Like, I can't find a bad thing about this album. Like, you know. And this is why, like, but I'm going to repeat my list. Um, number nine is Ye. Number eight is Jesus is King. Seven is Jesus. Six is Life of Pablo. Five is Graduation. Four is 808 and Heartbreaks. Um, three is My Dark Twisted Fantasy. Two is College Dropout. And one is Late Registration, which is a perfect motherfucking album you know um tell me what y'all think about my ratings of kanye's albums now I'm this has been your boy jamal radio raheem um don't forget we got the radio raheem tape comes out every saturday you know we got the harris show podcast comes out every monday you know we just got some stuff coming um i got on the record um uh, we don't know when that's dropping, depending on the order that this episode comes out. But we got a lot coming, you know, so stay tuned. You know, I got all the stuff, all my information, the follow on Instagram, the follow on SoundCloud. All that stuff is in the link. So until next time, peace.